Hello everyone, this is Mr. Cisneros. Today I'm going to show you how to create a DXF file. The way we get started with that is by going to our internet browser and Google searching the image or logo you'd like to uh, import into vCarve to later trace and create the DXF. So I Google searched Pacers logo black and white. Black and white images will typically work the best with vCarve Pro. It's easiest for it to uh, trace the lines because of the uh, contrast of the black and white colors. So I would recommend using a black and white image if you can. So now with the image selected in Google, you can right click the image and then go to save image as. I recommend you saving this to your H drive. I'm going to save mine to the desktop just to save some time. Once your image is saved and in your H drive, you can uh, go to open up vCarve Pro. When vCarve Pro opens up, go to create a new file. And then the job setup options will be on the left hand side. The only things we need to worry about is the job size. Depending on how large you want your logo uh, to be cut out at, you can decide. I'm going to make mine a bit small. 3 by 3. The laser cutter that we have, we can autofocus the thickness using the sensor. Um, so you don't technically need to put anything here, but it is good practice to type in the thickness of your material that you'll be using. I'm going to be using an eighth of an inch um, piece of birch wood. So I'll put in 0.125. Once you have that set, you can go and click OK. Now with this job set up selected, uh, I have a three by three uh, workspace. I can bring my image in that I found on Google. So I'm gonna go to file at the top left, go down to import, and then go to import bitmap. I will then have to go and find where I saved it. I saved mine to the desktop. You will probably have to go to your H drive and find it where you saved it there. So when I click on desktop, it should show up. It's right there. Click OK or open. And now it's opened in vCarve. The next step here is to trace the logo. The tool we will use is right here, trace bitmap. When you click on trace bitmap, some options show up on the left hand side. Because I have this black and white image, I can just go to black and white. Once I click on black and white, I can scroll down and then I can go to preview. You'll see that lines start to show up on your image. That is a good sign. You can click apply. Once you click apply, then you can click close. Now, what has happened is the image has been traced. You can't see too well the lines. You can see them a little bit but it will be clearer once you delete the original image from Google. So what you can do is you can actually zoom in to a part that you know is a Google, the Google image instead of the lines. You can click on the image and then press delete on the keyboard. You can zoom out and you'll see that all that is left are the lines traced by vCarve. These are the lines that we're going to want to create and export as a DXF. In order to create the DXF, we first have to select all of the material. You can do this by pressing Control A on the keyboard or making a big box by clicking and dragging from top to bottom. You'll know it's selected when it turns pink. With the image selected or the tracing selected, you can go to File, Export, DXF. It will ask you then where you want to save that DXF. Again, you should save this in your H drive. For now, I'm going to save it to my desktop, and I'm going to give it a name, initials underscore logo. I'm going to hit save. And now the DXF is created. This DXF you will then be able to open up with RDWorks. Watch the next video to see how that's done.